Hello adventurous travelers and friends and welcome back to a Brag for the Adventures video. I'm your host Rose and today we are taking on Scorts. Do you wish you could be a minimalist? Well in this series I'm going to show you how to stop wondering what if. What if you need those pants? Or that shirt? Or those 17 pairs of shoes? Or that snorkel? No longer will you overpack because we are going to test out travel clothing and make sure we know the best products to bring on a Bragworthy adventure. I like skirts, and I used to have a great skirt that I wore all through Europe and I'm looking for another skirt to come with me on my Bragworthy adventure. So today I have two skirts with me that I'm going to be trying out. I've got one from Eddie Bauer and one from Columbia. Eddie Bauer and Columbia are both outdoor brands known for outdoor clothing. I want to see how similar these skirts are in fit, feel, and packability, movability, dryability, wrinkle-free nature, all the things I want to take them through. But let's check them out. So here we have my Eddie Bauer skirt. This skirt from Eddie Bauer is 96% nylon, 4% spandex and it has an SPF of 50 as well. It's normally $65, but I got it for $32.50 because they were having a half off sale. So fit. They're actually kind of loose. Um, perhaps if I do really like them, I should reorder them in a size 10 and see if that works better. But other than the waistband being a little loose, the actual fit of especially the shorts underneath is nice. They've got that spandex feel and they're pretty tight. And I like the length of these, you can see. And the look is pretty good too. So the Columbia one is an Omni Shield, Omni Shield Summiter Light 96% nylon, 4% elastane, and SPF. 50. Normally it's like 60 bucks, but I got it for 40 because it was on sale. It's definitely very different with the elastic, but it fits a lot better than the Columbia. It's still a little loose, but it's stretchy, so it kind of catches up to you. The underneath is nice and tight to your body, so you can't lash anyone. Um, and then we've got a pretty good length. The pockets, though, I'm not loving that they're right here. It seems to me that the pockets sort of like make it stick out a little bit. It definitely seems like it sort of like pops them out right there, which is right where your hips are widest. So I'm not sure that was a great choice. Um, maybe, but yeah, there's no way to really like flatten that either. So I don't really know what they were thinking by structuring the pockets like that, but overall it actually looks pretty cute. I just really don't love those pockets. So that is the fit. Let's pull out my yoga mat and see how these things move and see if that changes my opinion on either one. Because it's short, it's just gonna roll up if I stretch too far, but. It's a score, it moves. Hopefully the Columbia one does too, but I'm pretty sure it will. hard to test the mobility of a squirt because unless this was very thick and tight it will be mobile because it'll just move up and down as needed but honestly both of these squirts are very mobile as you can see I can stick my legs up on things I can climb on things it's mobile so Let's move on to seeing how it handles water. So here is the Columbia Squirt. I'm just gonna try and get this. Now a lot of times these mostly nylon clothing, they don't really get wet is what I'm noticing which is part of the reason they're so great for travel, is they wick the moisture off instead of actually getting wet. See, I squeeze it, it's dripping, and it's mostly just a... So honestly, I think this might be dry in like 
30 minutes, even though I'm like trying to press water into it. I'm gonna give it a real good squish and then we'll squish this guy. We'll give it 30 minutes. It is 8.20, so I'll come back at 8.50. Okay, so I'm back to check on our squirts, and I can feel dampness, but you can't see it. So that one's still damp, and so is this one. So both Eddie Bauer and Columbia are still damp right now, and it is 8.57. Oh, it just went away. 8.57, so I'll give it another 30 minutes and check it already. And it's dry! Yep, they're both dry. So I typically like to roll my clothing, but I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do these, so I kind of did a fold and roll, just trying to get it down to the smallest amount of space possible. That was the Columbia, if you couldn't tell, because they're the same color. This is the Eddie Bauer. And once I'm finished rolling this one, you'll kind of see the width on them is the same, but the length of the Eddie Bauer is a little more, so it would take up just slightly more space, but I could probably squish it down. Now I'm gonna leave them like that for a couple days to see how they wrinkle. And we're back. Two days later, those squirts all packed up in a suitcase. That's where I threw them after I rolled them up. And I'm ready to pull these babies out and see if they are wrinkly or not. Let's start with the Eddie Bauer. Okay, here we go. Unraveling this mystery wrinkle, ew, wrinkly item. You can definitely see that it's wrinkly. You can even see a very distinct fold line right across there and across the back as well. So it's definitely a little wrinkly. Um, we might want to put it back on to see if when I'm wearing it, if it's as wrinkly. Yeah. It definitely has, still has a little wrinkliness when I'm wearing it, but this squirt is also a little bigger than I feel like it should be. Um, Cause I can at least hold like an inch of fabric in the back. So maybe if it was in the right size, then the wrinkles wouldn't show up as much. But it definitely, when you wear it, it looks a lot more flat. It lays down a little flatter. Although it still has some wrinkles, but it's really not that bad when you've got it on. So, is the Columbia the same? Let's find out. Here she is in all her glory. Whoa. This one's very similar, lots of wrinkles and a very clear fold line. Do you see that right there in the front? That's like, pfft. it's like a map where it shows you where it wants to be folded, like fold me here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely, it definitely has some really deep wrinkles, you know, to be sure, I don't want to do this, but to be sure, I'll put these guys back on. Honestly, I think it might be a little more wrinkly, but honestly, like on the screen, can you tell it's wrinkly? Tell me in the comments below if you can tell if it's wrinkly or not. It's definitely like a little bit, but it's never as bad as when you pull it out of the bag. So maybe my new like catchphrase should be, put it on before you judge them wrinkles. Regardless, we have judged wrinkles, we have judged dryability, we have judged movability, we have judged the fit and the feel, we have judged how small they pack. These items have been through a lot with me on this journey and we are at the point where it is time to pick who gets to go on a Brett worthy adventure. So um, I will make the decision and as in my other travel clothing series videos, I will put that item here and then you and I will have a little discussion on why that is the item that will be coming with me. So be right back. Ta-da! So 
don't, if you can't tell, because these squirts are the same color, so I'm wondering if you even notice, this is the Eddie Bauer squirt, which you might be a little surprised by because I definitely have mentioned multiple times it's too big, but overall, the fit, as in the way that it actually contours to my body, was better because the Columbia, if you recall, every time I try it on, I can't help but think of the way that the pockets stick out on the widest part of my hips, and they kind of almost stick out of their own pocket fold, and it's just not gonna work. It's also a little shorter, and I don't know if I, I feel as comfortable with that. So the Eddie Bowers are my winners, but clearly they're not perfect. I'm actually going to exchange these pair for a slight, a smaller size. And as long as that smaller size fits, then these buddies are coming with me. Unfortunately, when I went back later to get a different size, the product is not available right now. But if it becomes available again, you'll see me post about it on my Instagram. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, bye travelers.